right? They hate, they hate the one who reprimands the uprights in the court. Held at, held at the city gate, regarding him as unreasonable and rejecting his reprimands, reprimands to rebuke or to correct. And they detest him who speaks the truth with integrity and honesty. That's our people, man. You see? And we, we told him the honest truth concerning that shirt, right? And he got upset and said, that's worldly. That's our people, man. So we're going back to uh, Romans. So they hate him that rebuke at the gate, man. Who tell you the honest truth when it comes to judging our people. And we can judge, man. As long as we're coming out of the scriptures. And we tell our people how to conduct themselves according to the scriptures in order to please the heavenly father and his son, man. So you got to put off that old man, man. You can't having that old man and trying to serve the heavenly father and son, you're not going to survive, man. You got to put that old man off, man. And you got to influence others to put that old man off. Ways of the world, man. When you come in this truth, man. Okay? You gotta do that, man. So go ahead, bro. Because uh, I'll read it again. This is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And to be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So you gotta put off that old corruptible man. You gotta change. Go ahead. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect and perfect will of the most high. That's what you gotta do, man. And you gotta teach others also, man. And if that cause you to become a uh 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 what they call an outcast, if they call you to, for people to look down on you and separate themselves from you, so be it, man. You sacrifice yourself for the heavenly part you serve, man. So be it. That's it on that particular verse. There's some more for the next verse. It says, uh, verse 3, it says, For I say the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. Yeah, because that influence for you to be separated, that's ordained from the Heavenly Father and His Son. You didn't get that influence on your own. So the Heavenly Father can take it away if you become proud and think you better than somebody else. Man, the Heavenly Father can take it away. So that's why Paul is letting you know that. Go ahead. Says, but to think soberly, serious, okay, go ahead. According as the Most High has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Y'all, the measure of faith, man, because brothers got different measurement of, of faith, man. Not every brother have the same measurement of faith, man. You see? And with the faith that you do have, you still supposed to conduct yourself in the characteristics of the heavenly part of the sun, according to the word, man. So we jump. This is, uh, <laughs> this is Romans chapter nine, verse six. Right. Not as though the word of the Most High has taken none effect, for they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. So you got guys that's walking around with fringes, saying that they Israelites, but they still got that old man in them. And by them not changing, they not going to uh, be delivered from the second death, man. 
You see? Because everybody that wears fringes and say shallow one is not a brother, man. Because they ain't changed, man. And they could be trying to get close to you and come around you to overthrow you, man. Or to destroy the, the camp that you have, man. Through the spirit, man. Cause problems, man. Speak up, bro. Speak up. It's just uh, for an example, just like that one guy that came over here last time, uh, because he had like long dreads, and uh, we had encountered him before, and uh, this time he tried to come around like Shalom, Shalom, but you know what I'm saying? But you can tell that he's not changed. Yeah, you can tell that he's not changed. Yeah, but that that was uh when it, that was uh last week. I think it was last. Week, yeah, it was week last before. week, but it, no, nah, it was last week. Was it? But what it was was. Uh, we weren't set up for camp yet. We were just getting oh, out okay, here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we were just getting out here and we weren't set up for camp yet. We were putting everything. Okay. Getting okay. set up. And, okay. he, and that's when he came up. Salaki, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, that's that. But, go ahead, bro. All right. So, now I'll read it again. This is uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 6. Not, not as though the word of the most high has taken none effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Because not all Israel believe, man. Matter of fact, get that in a different translation. Not all Israel believe, man. Like they say they believe, like they like they claim they have faith. Not all Israel believe, man. You see? Because Because if they would believe, they would be putting out their old man. Their spirit would be on them to put out their old man. So by them not putting out their old man, that means that what? They don't have faith, man. The Most High ain't put the, 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 the spirit on them to believe to change, man. You see? But they coming around us as if They've changed, and they truly believe what they're lying, right? Let me get this in Thessalonians. Before you read that. Okay. This is, uh... This is 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse uh, 2. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked man, for all men have not faith. Just because they got on fringes don't mean that they believe truly in the heavenly Father and His Son, right? It says Shalom, just because they say that, man. Don't mean that they got faith, man. That could be a straight up demon just to come around and overthrow you and your camp, man. And cause discourse amongst the brothers, man. See? It's out of here, man. So you got to watch everybody, man. And there's so many people on the web call themselves breaking down the scriptures in so many camps now, man. You just got to watch out, man. You just got to watch out, get in those scriptures, and stay prayed up. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is, a, <clears throat> this is in the Bible Hub. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 6. Uh, this is the New International Version. It says, it is not as though the Most High's word had failed. For not all who are descended from Israel are Israel. It's uh, the New Living Translation. Well then, has the Most High failed to fulfill his promise to Israel? Question. No, for not all who are born into the nation of Israel are truly members of the Most High's people. Yep. Because you got people that wake up to this truth, right? But they don't have faith. But they got the beard and the garment. 
in the fringes. Go ahead. All right, this is the Amplified Bible. It says, it says, however, it is not as though the Most High's word has failed, coming to nothing. For not all who are descended from Israel, Jacob, are the true Israel. But you got two thirds, man. But you got two thirds, man. Go ahead. So this is the contemporary English version. Since it cannot be said that the Most High broke his promise. After all, not all of the people of Israel are the true people of the Most High. Yeah. What the Amplifier say? No, uh, that was the one I just read. The Amplifier? Yeah, it said, uh, whosoever is not, however, it is not as though the Most High's word had failed, mm -hmm. coming to nothing. For not all who are descended from Israel, Jacob, are the true Israel. Yeah, man, because you got two thirds, man. You got, you got people that say they believe, but they don't believe, but they got the beard and the fringes, man. They don't truly believe in Yahweh Shinao Shah, man, because they haven't put out their old man. You can't live the way you used to live when you wake up to this truth and start applying these scriptures. You can't live that way no more. That old man is dead, man. You can try, but guess what? It's gonna cause problems, man. And you're gonna be scratching your head wondering why all these things are happening to you. Cause you, you basically bullshit. And you and you can't figure it out. And you're gonna be looking for brothers to, hey brother, what's wrong? I'll catch you this case. Cause you ain't changed. You doing shit behind the scenes that <laughs> brothers don't know about, but you catching hell and you want brothers to, to come through and rescue you in the most high state of putting hell on your ass. Cause you ain't changed. You ain't changed. And then before you know it, you out the camp. <laughs> you don't know what the hell happened. You can't figure it out. You think brothers ain't being brother. Hell no, nah, you just ain't changed. Sometimes it may take months, sometimes it may take years, but eventually, if you ain't changed, you gonna get spit out, man. Brothers can only give you so many chances before the most high just say, you out of there and do something to you. To what brothers can be looking like, damn, man, what happened to him? Right. You know, they already know it's something, but they just keep giving them chances before you know it, you just go too far. And it's, out of there, man. And all the brothers looking at you like, shh, shh. I ain't not even feeling prophecy, man. He ain't right. You know? You couldn't get it right. And that's just what it is, man. You know? I mean, you can look. <laughs> man, you can't. Man, you. you all right, man, you can have the look, the beard, and the big beard, and the fringes, and all, you know, the fresh garment. You can have that look, man, but not be right in the spirit, man. The most I just spit you out, man. You see? Brothers watching in the heavenly father and son watching. Man, you can't hide. They, they most definitely going to catch it. Where we at, bro? Uh, that was Romans chapter 9, verse 6. That was Romans chapter 9, verse 6. Let me see something. All right. Romans chapter 9, verse 6. All right, continue on. All right, it says, uh, this is uh, verse seven. It says, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in is, is, uh, Isaac shall they... What shall you that was verse seven. You told me to continue on. Yeah. Chapter nine. Ha, <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, my father, I was... Uh, 
All right, come on. Go ahead. All right, this is uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 7. It says, Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. Yeah, because people are people that don't understand the scripture, right? They'll say, uh, not knowing that Abraham had a seed, right? And they'll try to throw uh, all the nations in there. But no, Abraham had a seed. And then Paul goes into it concerning which seed is the chosen, man. Okay, go ahead. It says, uh, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. And who comes out of Isaac? Jacob. Go ahead. It says, uh, that is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the Most High. The children of the flesh are uh, uh, the Ishmaelites. Children of the flesh are the Israelites, man. Okay, jumping to them too. They ain't not part of the covenant, man. Go ahead. So, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Yeah, that's it. Children of the promise. This goes from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They the children of the promise, man. Ishmael didn't get that, man. So that's to stomp that out. So what I want to do is uh, I was looking at something. Let's jump to Romans chapter 6. Right? Romans chapter 6, verse 6. All right. And then we're going to continue on going back. You know what I'm saying? Well, go ahead, bro. All right. This is Romans chapter 6, verse 6. Go ahead. It says, knowing this, that our old, that our old man is crucified with him. Yup. With who? That was shot. Go ahead. That the body of sin might be destroyed. The body of sin might be destroyed. So no, we are no longer living in that state. Man. So you have to change, man. We're no longer living in that state, man. Red, uh, uh, when you come up on brothers out here teaching, Red, fight them. Because you don't understand what's going on. And because they tell you right from wrong, you ready to fight them. Go ahead. That hit, henceforth we should not serve sin. We should not serve sin, man. You ain't supposed to go against your brother like that, man, if you corner like that. He's telling you right from wrong. Why you want to fight him? You see, I'll put him to death. But he's telling you right from wrong. Go ahead, bro. All right. Uh Want me to jump no, 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 no. Continue on. Yeah, you verse 6? Yeah, go ahead. This is verse 7. For he that is dead is free. Now, hold on, where you at? This was Romans chapter 6, verse 6. This is verse 7. Start at 6 and continue on. Okay. All right, this is uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 6. It says, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, right. that the body of sin might be destroyed, that hen henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is free from sin. He that is dead is free from sin. Why? Because he made dead that old man. You know, he not walking in that sinful nature no more. He walking towards image of Yahweh Shemal Shah. He living in the spirit. Go ahead. Now if we be dead with Amashiach, we believe that we shall also live with him. See? That we shall also live with him in the spirit. Right? Walking in walk in their image. Conduct ourselves according to the scriptures. Right? Move with wisdom. Right? Go ahead. Is knowing that a Mashiach being raised from the dead dies no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in it, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto the most high. Yeah, so that's the way we're supposed to live. For 
because they have the problem with church. His word. You see? That's how we're supposed to live. Towards the heavenly father and his son, according to his word, man. Not according to the world, man. So you gotta make dead that old man. So we jump. Right. Right. Now what do you believe in? Go ahead, keep jumping, bro. Alright, this is Galatians chapter 6, verse 16. And as many and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them. And mercy and upon the Israel of the Most High. One rule. The rule of the heaven upon the sun, the word. That's the rule, man. Being a new man. Being renewed in your mind, man. Putting off that corruptible man, that old man. That's the rule you walking up under, man. Okay? Statue laws and commandments, man. Through faith. That's the rule, man. Go ahead. So verse 17. From his, henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Yahawashah. So read it from you again. Alright. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 16. And as and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy and upon the Israel of the Most High. The Israel of the Most High. Not all Israel is of Israel, man. Because our people, some of them don't believe, man. Some of them don't believe in Yahweh Shemel Shai and conducting themselves in the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shai. Walking as that new man in the spirit. Not all of our people believe that, man. Not all our people are doing that, man. Even though you got some with beard and fringes, man. Not all of them are doing that, man. You see? And what I want to do is get 17 to him. 